Hi everyone, I'm Jo from Jo's Paradise of Colour. In this video, I will be sharing how I spun this one. It is number three of set of four for the gradient set for Psychedelic Peacock. This turned out absolutely stunning. I am using my new spinning wheel. It's a major craft rose. So she is such a dream wheel to spin on. So quiet compared to my other one. So I hope you enjoy this and let's get into it. I thought I would have a little vlog, um, chat and spin, um, if you'd like, go get yourself coffee or tea, um, and yeah, I'm just going to be discussing, talking just randomly, but, um, discussing my future crafts for this year. Um, pretty busy this year, um, so at the moment I've got to spin this one, um, this is part of a big order that I'm spinning up at the moment, um, obviously to go with that psychedelic peacock gradient that I spun a couple weeks ago um, this is the second bobbin for the other three that I'm spinning um, I've already spun this one so they're going to be semi gradients um, to go with the psychedelic peacock um, if any of these uh, skeins turn out to be too light and don't match the other um, skein I will over dye it um, I was asked to do an over dye so I could show what you do to achieve them if um, say you dye something and it turns out a bit too pastel for your liking or the wrong color so I might end up doing something like that for a future video um, if you guys and girls want to see me cover anything in particular please send me a message on Facebook or Instagram um, or comment down below um, just uh, let me know what you would like me to spin die or card up or um, weave. I do weave. I don't weave a lot, but I do weave. And it's only because I've got so many spinning orders that I don't do much weaving. Um, but I do plan on making three, at least three, woven pieces this year. Weaving takes a very long time to achieve. Um, so after this one, I have to spin the purple gradient. And then I will be plying them up with a 
green silk. So it's probably the same silk. I lost it, lost it, lost it, losing it all. Losing it all. I just lost two little spools on the floor. So it's a chicken um, embroidery thread. So I don't know if I have enough of that one, but if I don't, I will use a probably a mulberry silk thread. That way, if I do over dye, over dye it, it will turn out the colour that I over dye it. Um, so yes, and then I have to do some a dyeing tutorial for April tutorial um, kitten tutorial, which I started doing them last month. And oh my god. Oh my gosh. The, <laughs> the last spinning tutorial I did for the kids, which I haven't added it to YouTube yet. I want to wait until the uh, buyers, you know, the participants that bought the kit, can have a decent time to make it before I share it on YouTube. But, oh my god. The, uh, the projects that these girls have done so far with this tutorial. My gosh. They are beautiful. The results in their yarn is beautiful. And they only just started spinning. They're like, okay, there's only two, two ladies doing it at, um, for March. But one of the ladies, this, is her, this was her second yarn that she had ever made. And it is absolutely stunning it blew me away and I I discussed it and I said it in my when I was doing the tutorial that everyone spins differently so don't get put off thinking yours is any worse than me like I've been spinning for almost 12 years I've got my own style, okay? Everyone else has got their own style, and when you're learning and you're only just started, you don't have a style, but you can still make beautiful yarn. And don't put yourself down if it doesn't look exactly how my, mine, were, mine looks. So that's what I like to teach. Don't put yourself down think outside the box everyone's looks different and she ended up making a thick and thin really chunky one and oh my god it blew my mind gave me ideas but we all have the same colorway we all have the same colored um locks the same colored thread and we're all made different yarn and it this is what I love teaching people how to spin and seeing their creations at the end of it so April I'm still taking orders and it will be a dying tutorial I will be teaching you how to hand paint your fiber tops with a paintbrush and the kits, if you want the kit, 
You don't have to have the kit. You can still die along if you want. A couple months after. No, actually, I'll probably put this one out this month because it's going to be live. And the girls don't have to keep looking back at it. Um, so, I will go live. Anyone can join. But if you would like the kit, it will be, everyone will have a different colorway. Okay. I'm going to ask everyone to, that is participating to come up with a colorway using the colors that you have chosen. Each kit gets um, one tablespoon of five um, little canisters, little containers um, of landscape dye. I've got many different colors. I've got a picture up on my Facebook page of all the colors that I am offering. And you get to choose five different colors. And then you have to come up with your own colorway. And I will do a live video sharing how to mix your colors, how to apply your colors, how to um, prep, your, prep your fiber for first. Um, paint it, steam it, or however you choose you want to set the dye. That's up to you, but if you want to do it exactly like mine to get my results, then you will need to look at purchasing yourself a cheap steamer. And the one I got is $89 from the good guys. But you can have on the stove steamers, you can have electric steamers, you can have um, little steam containers to go in the microwave, or you could... Um, Set it in the sun. There are many different ways to set your fiber. But they will give you different results. And I find steaming them a lot gentle. Is a lot gentle, gentler on your fiber. And you get less felting to no felting. Um, there will be extra things that you will have to purchase that is not a part of the kit like plain vinegar not double strength just plain vinegar or apple cider um, I just use vinegar um, you will need some containers for mixing the dyes. Choose containers that you do not use for cooking or food. Um, you also want um, cling wrap and some zip ties. Yeah. And you want a container that you can soak your fiber in prior to dyeing it. So, if you're interested, start getting your stuff together and send me a message on Facebook or Instagram if you'd like to purchase a kit. I do have 
extra merino available for purchase if you would like to have have a go at um, dyeing consistency so dyeing more than one top um, at a time so you get um, the same colorway for more than 100 grams um, and I also have um, you can get extra dyes if you would like but it will be a little bit be like three dollars twenty per per die so that is April April tutorial I will go live at the end of the month anyone can anyone can watch it'll be a roughly a hour probably an hour and a half um, to get it all done any comments I will answer them after the live stream um so yes that is April April is full so I've got to do the tutorial at the end of the April Easter is coming up I've got an Easter sale on Easter weekend on Etsy Etsy ooh, at the moment apparently they are increasing their fees so I need to work out if I want to stay with them or I want to search for another platform to use um, at the moment they charge 5% per sale um, but apparently this month they are increasing their fees to 30% per sale which is full sorry it is BS Meaning the maker does not earn anything. Especially if you're selling little things. Like you're already paying 20 cents per listing. And then, um, and then the 5% fee on every sale. Like that's not the full sale. That's not the full sale. That's like per item sold. So if you sell like five items, they get a fair bit of money. I don't know what to do. I don't think there's many other other um, options for cheap alternatives for a store okay hi welcome back um I filmed this yesterday but when I went to put it on my computer it was uh, filmed vertical instead of horizontal so I lost all that footage and I have to do it again but I've already um, spun half of the blue one so it's not like fresh flying so <sighs> unfortunately this is a part of making videos sometimes you get it good other times it stuffs up and you gotta do it again I'm on to the second one um, for the set and I've already started applying it so I'm about halfway done um, it is turning out to be really beautiful 
I have got photos up on my social media already. Oh, what's going on here? Here's the first one, which is all completely plied and ready to be skeined. But I'm going to wait until I've finished all three before I skein them. And then I'll share um, a short video of them all skeined up together for you at the end of this one. But I am filming four videos here. <laughs> so crazy four videos um so this week's video which um will be out tomorrow you won't probably have to cut that out um i would have before i got this um the set video done i would have had all three of the other ones done and out um so the set one's gonna be last so it's gonna be over the next um four weeks there's these videos i have to have one for the green one for the blue and one for the purple and then mix it all together and have one showing all three production all in one that one is in the making still i'm about halfway i've been working on this video for about um two or three weeks probably two weeks um so far the next one after the blue will be the purple which is only 50 grams so that won't take long to get finished um i think the first one was about 150 grams the blue is 100 grams and the purple's 50 grams so it's about 300 grams all up um, so that's what I'm doing today is applying the blue one so hopefully I'll get the blue one finished in this video and then start it on the purple. I am applying these with a chicken embroidery art thread, art silk thread. Um, it's about 500 meters per spool. And I've already gone through two and a half spools so far. But I should only need to use what I've got left on this one. Um, maybe a little bit more of a little bit on this one for the one I'm working on at the moment. And then the purple will only have to use half of that. So I'm hoping I don't run out of that green silk before I'm finished because <laughs> that's all I've got left. Um, so yesterday I filmed, um, I was sharing the, um, a bit on the woven shawl that I've been planning on for the last two years um, I think I will just share that with you in another video um, when it comes closer to making it so I'll probably do a series um, part videos um for that one because it's going to take a month probably probably two weeks probably a month um to make that woven shawl um because there's a lot of detail in it and making the diamonds on the hem which is my own pattern takes 20 hours per side 
and that's not including the actual pattern around it um, so but I decided to do some more spinning for that one um, for a hundred grams of black and I'll probably ply it with a uh, violet um, embroidery thread to uh, go with the rest of the yarns that I've chosen for it um, so that one I will have to do a series because it will take me a long time to finish the preparation and then actually make it I will um, share parts of my making of it uh, probably in a time time lapse over that month period in one in a couple videos just so I've got stuff to put out um, during the making process otherwise there won't be any videos being put out um, during it because it takes a long time however I might actually do some dyeing videos in the middle of the uh, the weaving um, my uh, loom frame takes up a lot of room in my spinning room here so I won't be doing any spinning um, unless I take my wheel out to the deck and do some spinning out there but it does get a bit noisy with the cars um, drive by so I will try and get a video out every week um, for everyone doing something so I've got um, probably I've got another um, 100 grams of fiber I've got to dye up um, I actually I do have a few orders of dyeing to do so I will have um, some content to add to the YouTube over the next month or two um, after this order I've got one more order and maybe one other afterwards depending on if the, um, the person is still interested um, so yeah I will try get more videos out okay I'm going to pan you down I'm going to do some spinning I will try and um, do small snippets but the last one went for the other one went for 48 minutes um, but when rendering videos making and other stuff I don't always use all of the content that I film um, these ones I've been filming over uh, over the two weeks so far but this is going to be a three week video um, in process so I will discard a lot of the actual filming for the all in one video and I will try use majority of the videoing on the um, single semi colored yarns um, so I don't know this is going on 13 minutes and I haven't even started spinning so I'm going to get into it and I hope you enjoy this one um yeah let's get into it <laughs> as you can see i've already spun half of it um but it's looking so pretty it is actually a lagoon um a very light pale uh turquoise with some aqua so it's quite beautiful um 
in real life. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I can never get the correct, um, the correct color on my phone. But this is as close to what I can achieve to share. This wheel is so, so quiet compared to my other one. Might have a little bit of rattle, but that's about it. I'm going to just put on some music. I hope you enjoy this music. And I hope you enjoy the rest of this one. <laughs> 